welcome back to another episode of Balling with. Uh, we're still going down the line list of teams here. Uh, we're on the Seattle Seahawks uh, schedule for the 2023 season. Uh, they had a pretty breakout season last year. A lot of people wrote them off, um, and they have them projected to win eight and a half games this season, about the same amount as last season. I think they won nine or ten games last season and found a way into the playoffs, nine and eight. And this would probably be the same exact order for the 49ers winning this division as well. Uh, NFC West has no competition, really. Um, 49ers will do that. Uh, let's hop back into the schedule for the Seahawks. Um, they went 9-8. and eight. They are projected to win 8.5, 9 games again this season. Will they have uh, the same success rate? I do think so, uh, around at least the 8. Seven win mark at least minimum, uh, ten on the higher end, eleven if they are superb. Uh, I do think they win week one versus the Rams. Uh, I do think they can beat the Lions, but I think they lose to the Detroit Lions week two. I think they beat the Panthers week three. They beat the Giants week four. They are three and one here. They lose to the Bengals three and two, four and two versus the Cardinals. Uh, having everyone beat the Cardinals. Um. I think they can lose this game here versus the Browns, but uh, and let's say they will. I think Browns gonna Browns gonna surprise a lot of people too. So don't don't get that. Sean Watson's come back full um, off season as well to get active and ready. They got Amari Cooper, People Jones. They got the best running back in the game, best offensive line. So just Watson coming down and making those plays, and he can make those plays. So don't discredit him for that. Um, I think they win here, Browns. Uh, and I would drop the Seahawks to one, three, one, three, two, four, two, four, three, four, four. I think they lose to the Baltimore Ravens, and this is gonna be another solid matchup. Now, are they gonna beat my team? I don't think so. They are home, twelfth man. Though Seahawks does give us issues all the time, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys. Last couple times we went to the playoffs, we faced the Seahawks in the wild card, and we lose. Uh, they are home. I say they beat us. I say that I say we I say we lose to the Seahawks. It's a good matchup. Um, they beat us, and that is they come five and four beating us. Six and four, six and five. I think they can beat them. Seven and five. I did have them um, winning one versus the 49ers, but I don't think so. Um, six and five, seven and five, seven and six, eight and six, eight and Eight and eight, nine and eight, mm. nine and eight. I think the Steelers win this game, nine and nine, and I think they win that last game, ten and nine. Seahawks go ten games. I think they can do that. Uh, they drafted an, another production receiver. Um, with him, with Tyler Lockett, they're gonna have open plays. They're gonna be making those first downs. Completion. They're going to keep the clock moving. They're going to be running the ball with Kenneth Walker. They're going to have a nice, solid young defense. Uh, I do think they can win nine games. I have the Seattle Seahawks winning nine games, guys. At least nine games. I had them winning 10 on their schedule. So book them and uh, mail them all to your nearest bookie. Uh, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. More videos in the future. Um, of course, more sports bets, more highlights, more podcasts, more uh, sports challenges as well. Guys, make sure you stay tuned for the highlights of for high school athletes for the premier matchups in the DMV area for basketball and football this upcoming fall season and winter season. Guys, uh, catch you guys on the next one, and we're signing out.